Right now, lawmakers in Frankfurt are still working on COVID policies for Kentucky as part of a special session. They're working late tonight in the hopes of wrapping up this session in three days. WHAS 11 political reporter Rachel Drose has been there for all of the action. Now, Rachel, bills are starting to be signed, but we've just learned others have been vetoed. Yeah, Kristen, this news coming in just minutes ago, the governor's office telling me that the governor has officially vetoed the education bill, which is Senate Bill 1, and the health care bill, which is Senate Bill 2. He has signed two bills, Senate Bill 3 and Senate Bill 5. Um, and right now, the Senate has just gone in to try to override those vetoes. Now, what the education bill does, part of it is removes the statewide school mask mandate and the health care bill that he vetoed would prohibit uh, nursing homes from having visitor bans. Those are just a couple of things that those bills do. Of course, they are very lengthy, but those were some of the reasons that the governor listed as why he did decide to veto those bills. Now, the House over right over my shoulder, they are also about to come back, I'm told, to take up another controversial bill, which uh, it would, it's a measure that was actually just introduced in the Senate today, last minute, and it would recognize certain positive antibody tests as a person being fully vaccinated against COVID-19. And this, of course, comes as President Biden makes his announcement today and more and more places start to require proof of vaccination. And you've got to have a measured quantifiable amount and you've got to be kind of in the top four fifths of the population out there of antibody levels to say that we consider you equal to be vaccinated. If you're in that lower fifth, we're gonna say that's not sufficient. We're not gonna consider you. You might have to go get, we're gonna recommend that you go get vaccinated. And once again there is a lot of pushback with this resolution. According to the sponsor, Kentucky would be the only state in the nation to do this. That's been brought up during debate as a big concern for some. Also, many feel there isn't strong evidence to support that natural immunity is as effective as getting vaccinated. We can't say that just because we can detect an antibody in your blood that you have protection from that infection, which is not that good yet. And again, the House is set to get in right over my shoulder. And if we want to spin around the Senate, over here has just officially gone into that chamber. I'm told by a GOP leadership in the Senate that they are planning to take these override votes. So today is day three of special session. Lawmakers are trying to wrap up today, saying that even though there's no time limit on how long special sessions run, they want to make sure that they are quick and efficient because it does cost thousands, tens of thousands of dollars each day that lawmakers are here in this building. So that's why they are pushing to get this done in this three day stretch. That, of course, has also been a very contentious point during this session. Many people, even Republicans, are saying that they don't think that rushing through these bills, especially that education bill, is good for the general public. And for some, they say that it could be a life and death situation. For now, I'll be here for the rest of the evening until these lawmakers go home. Um, I'm told they'll be going home at midnight tonight. If they don't wrap up, they do intend to come back for a fourth day of session, of course, to get everything done here. So I'll keep you updated. Be sure to follow along on my Twitter account um, and the station Twitter account for the latest here under the dome. For now, live in Frankfurt, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 News.